Hey everybody, it's me Max, and I am back with a new video, and this video is going to be about our lady bits, our feminine hygiene, our, you know, magical areas. The last time I did a video like this was back in 2013, so obviously some things have changed with me, and I noticed a lot of people do these types of videos and they don't mention a particular thing. You know, like with our hygiene, they just say, wash up, take a shower. If you stink, you know, just take a shower. And this is how you cleanse yourself and use these products to clean yourself and this, that, and the other. But in a lot of the videos, I noticed that they didn't talk about this one particular thing. Girl, if you have a particular odor that is out of the normal, if it smells kind of fishy, pungent or garbage like and I'm not even trying to be funny here okay I'm not trying to be funny okay I'm, I'm like so serious if it smells stronger than normal because of course us ladies were supposed to have a scent down there it's not supposed to one smell good and it ain't supposed to smell like flowers okay these rappers got it all messed up <laughs> okay um I heard someone say in a song does it smell like flowers like no, it don't smell like no flowers. It's not supposed to smell like really anything, but you are supposed to have a personal scent. So if you notice that that change is, that smell has changed, where it's just kind of like stronger after you take a shower, or just kind of the dish, you notice discharge associated with the scent, a shower is not gonna help that, okay? Washing up isn't gonna help that. You know, feminine wash soaps is not gonna help that. Douching for sure isn't gonna help that. It's gonna make it worse. If you try to cover up that smell with fragrance, it's gonna make it worse. What do you need to do? Go to the doctor. You need antibiotics. You need to seek medical attention because all the stuff that I'm about to talk about as far as my personal female hygiene is not going to matter if you need to go to the doctor and get medication because why? That is an infection and sometimes that's BV or it could be a yeast infection, one of the two, okay? So you can't really self-treat that, it's not gonna go away. As soon as you seek something that's kind of like out of the normal or smells out of the normal, what do you need to do? Go to the doctor. That's what you need to do, okay? You need, to, you need to seek medical attention. You need to see a doctor. They need to get in there and look around and see what's going on because you never know. It could be like a smallest piece of tampon cotton stuck up there if you wear tampons. It could be anything that might, you know, not saying that things just crawl up there, but you get what I'm saying. So that is a pH balance issue. It's you know, things just kind of happen with our lady bits that we have no control over, but there are some things that we can do to kind of prevent those things. But if your pH balance is thrown off where you can, you know, you get BV or yeast infection, you need to go get some antibiotics so that can clear up. So the, the first signs that you kind of notice something different or, or irregular, go to the doctor. I know I do. If I notice something weird, strange, you know, I go to the doctor because you do not want that to linger on and get worse it's because that is an infection and it can start to mess with you know reproductive you know organs and systems and you know things down there so me I just become real aware of myself real in tune you know look around in there you know get to know yourself um, we're all adults here the age range here on my YouTube channel is 18 to 34 um, my largest audience so we should be one in here with our, our systems. So, I just wanted to address that because a lot of the hygiene videos that I've seen, they didn't address that. They just kind of said, oh, if you think you just need to do this and do that to wash up. Now, since I have lady bits and I noticed that my lady bits are a bit different now that I work out, that is a major, major thing and difference with my body now because with having a vagina, you have to take care of it a little different if you're sensitive like me. I am a very sensitive, sensitive person. So now that I'm working out and different juices be trickling and going places, I have to take care of myself a bit differently. So since we're on the topic of working out, I work out about 
I was supposed to do three times a week, girl, but since I moved, I'm trying to get back on track with everything. So my workout routine is pretty often, and I sweat in my crotch, okay? This is TMI, I sweat in my crotch. So if you sweat in your crotch, what is that gonna arise? It's some issues, right? Some issues, because it's wet down there. So, you can't have your lady bits be submerged in wet, warm darkness, especially after you work out. So what do I do? Say I work out in my leggings. I do work out in leggings when I go work out, but I don't wear drawers underneath them. Okay, because I don't want it being submerged in, you know, hotness. I need to let it breathe you know and so if I'm working out in the gym I always keep a towel with me I never sit down on anything bare bare you know seated because my butt gets wet okay and I just noticed that these things work for me so when I get done working out take them clothes off I don't shower at the gym because I want my privacy <laughs> okay, I need my privacy um, so soon after I get done working out I use the restroom of course I wash my hands first Wash your hands first before you use the bathroom. And then have a clean towel or whatever you use to dry yourself off, especially in your crevices. You know, especially in your crevices. Dry off and change into some loose sweatpants, okay? Loose sweatpants and go home and shower them because then you can really shower how you want to. So that is my tip because I know some people tend to get irritated when they sweat and work out with, you know, yeast infections and get thrown off that kind of way. So that kind of helps um, in that department if you work out and you kind of notice that you get a little irritated. Not necessarily just a yeast infection or BV or, or whatever, if you just feel irritated. Take that wet stuff off. It's just like if you swim. Don't, don't sit in a wet bathing suit. You know, don't sit anything wet. And also that goes for underwear, the types of underwear you wear. You know, don't be wearing them thongses. Don't be wearing them thongses all the time. Wear you some cotton breathable drawers. You know, especially if you're not gonna be seen and you're not gonna, you know, have a little moment or whatever. You get what I mean. You know, that thong, the thongs are tight, girl. They tight and uncomfortable. For me, at least, I wear briefs whenever I can. I do not care. You know, I only wear my cute drawers if somebody's gonna see them, okay? That's that. So, on to what I use to cleanse myself. I cannot wear anything that has fragrance. Um, one, because my skin, my overall skin is very sensitive. I can't wear, say, I can't wash up with something like this. This is the Origins Grapefruit Body Wash and Bubble Bath. My bits won't be happy, neither will my skin, okay? I can't wash up with this at all. Like, no, it's a no-go for me. So I have to use things that are unscented and are geared for sensitive skin. And two, this is not pH balanced. This will mess me up, girl. <laughs> it will mess me up. Um, so I have to use things that are unscented and that are very mild. So I recently just started using the Heritage Store Baking Soda. It's a handmade and pure and gentle for sensitive skin. And it's a bar, basically. This is what I use. So this doesn't have a scent at all and it's great for my sensitive skin. I've been using this probably for about three weeks now. I purchased this at my um, Rainbow Acres, which is an organic food store here in LA. So what's in it though? What's in it? Um, there's olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, um, it says kalanonite powder, clay, and rosemary leaf extract, okay? It's sulfate free, gluten free, and paraben free, and it's considered vegan. It has all that stuff on here. So there isn't anything in this soap that I can't pronounce. Well, there's, that was that one thing that I can't pronounce. There isn't anything in this soap that I don't recognize, so that's why I really, really enjoy using this. I know Heritage Store has other, um, other kind of like forms of this soap. Like I saw a castor soap, I saw a black seed oil soap. So I really, really enjoy using this. Um, I'm gonna continue using this, and 
my lady bits like it even though I don't really submerge my lady bits in just a soapy sensation down there but you get what I mean you know it, it, it makes my area happy and my skin happy because especially in the winter time my skin my overall skin gets really dry and itchy and this just has my skin feeling like really calm and most of all my lady girl <laughs> my magical <laughs> is very happy and secure and it doesn't have a strong fragrance there really isn't any fragrance when you're done but when you are done you do have that kind of squeaky clean feel now I know I'm gonna get asked like oh well, how do you feel about the real real organic Jamaican black caster um is it the Jamaican black cast? No, it's black uh, black soap, the Jamaican black soap, like real, you know, the one that looks like kind of like all the different colors, like the real deal black soap. I can't use that anymore. I do not use it. I stopped using it probably like five years ago because my lady parts don't like it. It burns that area. Like, ah, like it's like horrible. Like I do not use black soap on my body. Can't do it. So now you're probably like, well, what about what other soaps like, you know, Vagisil or, you know, um, what's this one? Summer's Eve. Um, but I don't use it like how I used to. I really don't use this at all. I only use this if, you know, if I think I'm going to have a moment with a special someone. Um, that's probably it. <laughs> I'm not using this every day because I just don't, I don't feel the need to. Um, I do notice that if I feel like after I get off my period, um, I might wash with this once, but it's not like a, something that I just immediately grab for like, oh, let me get my summer's eve, you know, it's just for special occasions, you know. You know, special occasions because I don't really put a lot of anything down in there. Now when I do shower, I do kind of, you know, go in the area explore the area but i'm not you get what i'm saying <laughs> i'm not just soaping up my vagina okay i'm not i want to make that clear it's just not soaping up but like if i wash my thighs of course a little bit of soap is going to get in my area now i do want to make it clear that you are not supposed to be washing your vagina hole i'm talking about the vagina hole now you can wash the out outside and in the top area and all of that i'm not talking about the you know the whole just washing that okay i'm talking about the surrounding areas so that's why i have to use sensitive um you know soaps and things because even anything in that area can kind of upset me so that's why i tend to use um this soap now and before i before i used this soap i was using the dove unscented bar soap okay but i'm not taking soap and putting it up in my vagina okay i want to make that very clear y'all know y'all get it okay i'm talking about the washing the areas and out the top part the sides of your thighs you'll get what i mean like that but i'm not putting this either one of this kind of stuff just up in there okay and if you find that you feel like you have to put something up in there because there's a smell coming out you need to go to the doctor go to the doctor I did notice in the last video I talked about using Summer's Eve wipes. I do not prefer those anymore. I just, I really don't. I prefer something just a little bit more mild because I do notice that the Summer's Eve wipes do tend to have a fragrance to them and I just don't want to take any chances and you know, I just don't. So if I go to the number two, I use my Cotton L flushable wipes. You know, I just use these, they're nice and sensitive, you know. These don't have a fragrance. So if you just happen to, you know, oops, accidentally wipe an area that you didn't mean to, I mean, for me, I'm still okay. You know, I'm not irritated, nothing, okay? So I do enjoy these now. And what I didn't do before that I should have been doing a long time ago because my gynecologist actually suggested that I should be taking a probiotic in general, but I didn't really think anything of it. And I was told this back in like 2012, 2013, and I never, I never did it because, you know, you're young, you're like, oh, whatever, you know, but I kind of accidentally... I wouldn't say accidentally, but I kind of discovered this product through PR. Um, I got a PR package from Queen V, and it had like a whole array of different 
products that are geared for RV. And one of the products that I really took to was the DD Probiotic that it says daily dose with turmeric and grape seed, um, grapefruit seed. It says daily dose of vitamins may promote healthy queen V by balancing yeast and bacteria while also supporting your digestive and immune and antioxidant health. I absolutely love these. So I got these in a PR. I got one bottle in a PR package. Um, and I've been purchasing it ever since and it's been about eight months, okay? And I absolutely love this. I do notice a difference as far as like how I overall feel. Um, I haven't had any problems or have many problems with, you know, um, um, yeast infections or getting off of balance or having any BV. But I don't know if this helps contribute to that or the practices that I do. Um, but I do notice a difference and I feel like my number twos are a little more smooth than what they were. Um, my stomach does feel a little bit more balanced and my, my vagina, I will say it does, I do feel a difference like say if I run out of these, like if, you know, because it takes about like four or five days for this to come to you in the mail when you do order it. Um, so that's why I ordered two this time <laughs> because I absolutely love this stuff. I do feel a difference. I do, it just, I don't know, it just feels a, it just feels happier. <laughs> I, you know, I do like it. So um, Queen Bee, they do have soaps, they do have bubble baths that you can use. They do have like a vaginal spray. Um, it's not like a spray that you spray up in your vagina, but like an overall kind of like fragrance that you can spray in the area, like you spray it in your thighs or above your belly button or something like that. Um, they do have other products that I haven't really tried, tried yet. They're somewhere upstairs. So I'll be updating you guys if I try them out. I'll give you guys an update in the video, but I do want to say thank you to Queen V because if that PR package didn't come, I wouldn't have known about these, but ever since I got them, I've been purchasing ever since, and I think the these are $19.99 a bottle, I think. And I know that's pretty expensive, but it's worth it, okay? It's worth it. Like, I really do notice an overall change, okay? And this next product my trader actually introduced to me because I was kind of complaining that, you know, you know, when I work out, I do smell somewhat of a scent coming through my pores. And also, I noticed that around the time that my period is to come, my overall body scent changes. Like I can really tell and sense a change with my body, um, especially when I'm working out. So she recommended, she wasn't telling me that I stank. I was the one that brought it up, okay? She wasn't saying, ooh girl, you stank, you need to use this. But she was telling me about liquid chlorophyll that it actually makes her not have any kind of scent at all as far as things coming through her pores and her lovely bits okay um and, and i'm not saying that just a wipe away scents at all it, it maintains your natural scent okay it's not something that's just like oh it just wipes away you know make me feel, smell like roses but this does help keep things a little bit mild like say if you eat some asparagus and of course if you eat asparagus, where is it going to come through? Your your pores and your skin and your, your hoo-ha, okay? Especially if you're eating a lot of vegetables and your diet has changed. Like me, I eat a lot of vegetables, green beans and um, Brussels sprouts. It has affected my overall fragrance sometimes. So she suggested the chlorophyll. It's an internal deodorizer. Promotes cleansing, freshens breath. And this one I have is a natural, it says natural mint flavor. Um, so I put, what is this like? I put a one teaspoon in an eight ounce water bottle and drink it. So it's been working pretty, um, pretty well so far. Um, so that's something you can try as far as if you just wanna kinda like maintain and you know, all of that kind of stuff. Now, again, I'm not gonna suggest this if you have an actual odor that just won't go away. Okay, if that odor won't go away or it intensifies, go to the doctor. <laughs> go to the doctor. This is not going to help it. It's not going to help. Okay? Hey, girls. So, I'm sitting up here editing this video while you guys are watching it, right? And I forgot to mention one of the most important things about all of this. You need to be drinking some water, okay? Put down the Kool-Aid, the soda pops, alcohol, Okay, we'll do it to you too, okay? Drink you some water. Drink you some water. I drink a gallon of water a day, or at least I try to. 
And water really helps with all of everything, okay? I just wanted to put that in there. All right, so that is pretty much it for that. Like at night before I go to bed, of course I do cleanse myself, I shower, and I don't sleep in anything tight. I don't want anything all pressed up against my magical spots where they can't breathe. I like to be nice and airy. You know, in general, I don't wear tight clothes either. I don't know if you guys noticed or haven't noticed. I don't really wear tight anything, so. You know, I just like to be flowy and breathable, um, especially when I'm sleeping. So, um, anytime that I don't have to wear drawers, I let her air out. You know, I just let her air out. And, you know, she's been happy for a very long time. Um, you know, once I started to adjust some things, because when you do start to work out, you kind of do notice some things that, like, oh what's going on here because there's different things going on and dripping and in your creases and crevices and things like that so yeah I just wanted to get on here and share <laughs> maybe some of these are things that you guys already knew or didn't know but um, feel free to comment below in the comment section below if you guys have any questions comments or suggestions in the comments that you do for your lady V and everything that I mentioned will be down in the description below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.